Um, welcome to the Malta Vlogs. I just want to apologize for the really bad lighting. And this is my first full day here. Um, in saying that, I sort of filmed the whole day. I went to Valletta, which is the capital city. I'm currently staying in St. Julian's, um, which is just a bit more lively than Valletta, even though Valletta is the capital. Valletta is very quiet. Um, definitely more it's like still the entire city is um a world heritage city so it's there's a lot of like rules to it um and you saw it it's absolutely beautiful so i went to the cathedral today which i might say it was so like lackluster to walk in you saw the clips but when you're in there it is like so beautiful like the gold everything's just so beautiful the reason I actually wanted to come to Malta is because I'm Maltese. Um, so I'm here to also meet some relatives, which I'm really excited about. Um, but they live in Malia, so I've got, a, I've got one more day until I see, meet them, finally. I've never met them, so I'm very excited. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm here. Also, it is just a very beautiful little island. Um, and very quiet like I was talking to the taxi driver here and on the way here and I was like oh is it busy because of the tourists and he goes yep peak time and I was walking around Valletta which is the capital walking around St Julian's and Slima it is just so much more quieter compared to like there's still tourists don't get me wrong there's still tourists here but it is just so much more quieter and I can't wait to go to other places and then it will be even quieter um I think to Tomorrow, the plan is to go to St. Paul's Bay and then Maliha, which is where my family's from. So I'm very excited. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update. What else do I need to update you on? Um, for the rest of the day, I'm going to be going to where I went yesterday, like swimming, um, just like a little not even it's like a pier sort of thing it's not even a beach because the beach is too crowded and also like I'm taking like the hotel towels so I don't want to like I don't want to ruin their towels you know so that's pretty much it that's everything I've got to update you on the wi-fi in this hotel is actually abysmal and it, I'm really struggling which is good in a way because at least I'm not <laughs> on my phone but like it's actually because my family because i'm traveling by myself my family are obviously like worried for me so they're like why haven't you responded to our text i'm like sorry i'm not kidnapped it's just um just got no reception that's the word i'm looking for why can't i speak i'm actually struggling so much right now i'm so tired also i need to charge my phone and i'm gonna at like five i'm gonna go to the beach i bought some grapes i'm gonna have dinner there dinner at the beach um also i wanted to show you what i bought i bought this which is like a little maltese cross isn't that so cute it is so stunning and then i also got this this is one i always wear i got this little bangle and you can actually there's a little hole there this is really bad because it's my front camera you can put a little hole there and you can put something in it which is really cute and then also they gave me a free little anklet isn't that amazing? Anyway, that it's from M Vintage. Sorry, the camera keeps falling. Um, I think they're online, but they're a small little store in Valletta, so worth going. And I also got my sister a little Maltese cross, but I'm not going to show you her gift, obviously. Um, yeah, so that is it for today. Don't know when I'll check back in, um, but see you soon.
this is the end of the Malta book, which I'm very sad about. I'm actually very, very sad to be leaving. Um, also, I found that I haven't really given you much of an update on what's been happening. So, yes, no, not yesterday. Day before, I went and saw and met my family, so like my grandfather's nieces? Cousins? Jesus Christ, I don't even know how I'm related to them. They have the same grandfather. Yeah, so he's, yeah, the my grandfather's nieces. Um, so I've met all of them. They were absolutely lovely and it was really cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to show you, I did, don't think I showed you much clips of Maliha, but that's where my family originated from. Um, so it was cool to go. We went to the house that my grandfather grew up in. We also went to the church, which my great grandfather helped build, which was really cool. And we also went to the farm, which the entire family worked at. Um, so yeah, it, it was just like a weird experience, like to be there um, and to meet people who knew my grandparents and like that were like their family it was it was just really surreal experience um and i'm so thankful that i got to do that um yeah malta is absolutely stunning um definitely going to come back um it sounds like i'm going to be back here next year because my sister really wants to go um but that will depend if i have a job or not we shall see i assume i'm gonna have a job I'm manifesting that I'm gonna have a job. Not that I don't want to travel to next year, it's just, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. And then yesterday I went to Medina, which you saw, and Medina was such a beautiful little spot. It used to be the old capital of Malta. It was, um, yeah, so it has a lot of the, it's a very ancient city. Um, and it was absolutely stunning, so beautiful as well. Um, I went, I see you saw a bit of it, I went to um, Palazzo Folsen, which was owned by like a Swedish sea captain who also like helped with the Maltese like archeology span thing, whatever it's called. Um, so that was really cool. It's also where they filmed parts of Game of Thrones specifically in season one so i think part of medina was like the red keep in game of thrones if i remember correctly um yeah so very cool and today because it's my like my last it was my last full day i actually leave tomorrow it was my last full day today i was supposed to go to gozo which is like a little island off of malta but all of the ferries were literally booked out and also i was just like it was windy it wasn't as hot as it was the past few days so i was like i'm just gonna chill at the beach here which you saw which wasn't really a beach it was more of just like rocks and then the water but it was still good um i finished a book i finished valentino by natalia ginsberg which i'm gonna do a full video of like the books i've read while i was in europe so i'm gonna save my little review for that um yeah i'm also i'm also editing the paris vlog I'm like five vlogs behind. Also my journaling, I made a goal to like journal every single day while I'm here and that's not worked. Like I think I've given up. I think I've got up to Paris and I was just like, I'm done with journaling. Um, so that's annoying. So now I'm just lugging around this little notebook, which I think what I'm going to do is actually send things home. I might do that in Athens. That sounds like a plan. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you want more content um, and if you have watched previous videos and haven't made that decision yet, subscribe now. I'm daring you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yep, give a like. Um, I would really appreciate it. Share it if you want to. Um, yeah, I'll see you in Athens. Bye.